Hello, everyone, and welcome to MVP Hot Seat. My name is Ibrahim Ababu from Nuclear Business Platform. Joining me today is Dr. Ruben Katabe, who is the National Coordinator of the Nuclear Program Implementing Unit with the, within the Ministry of Higher Education of Zambia. The Nuclear Program Implementing Unit is the NEPIO looking after nuclear power program development activities in Zambia. Dr. Katebe has 30 years of experience working for the National Institute for Scientific and Industrial Research as a research scientist and head of uh, nuclear energy application and analytical services department. Currently, seconded to the Minister of Higher Education as a national coordinator for the nuclear energy program implementing unit in Zambia. Welcome, Dr. Katebe. It's a great pleasure to host you today on MVP Hot Seat to share your insights on nuclear energy development in Zambia. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. And thanks to you. So let's start with the first question. Uh, what is the nuclear program implementing unit? What's its mission, uh, current activities and mandate? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, the Nuclear Implementing prog uh, prog Program Unit in Zambia, it is under the Ministry of Technology and Science, and its mission is to coordinate, facilitate, and provide an oversight uh, and create an env enabling environment for the implementation of nuclear program in Zambia. The mandate of the, the unit is to make sure, coordinate in a systematic manner, the development and implementation of the entire nuclear program in Zambia. Interesting, interesting. And can you share with us the latest nuclear development concerning Zambia's nuclear power program? Yeah, the, the first development has been the the development and the approval of the national nuclear policy, mm -hmm. which is now in place. This national nuclear policy will provide the legal framework under which the entire nuclear program will be implemented. That is the first one. The second development is that uh, as a country, we have embarked on the self-assessment uh, of the nuclear infrastructure so that we can see the gaps and uh, come up the, the way, come up with the way, uh, the way to, to, to fill up these gaps for us to have a smooth implementation uh, program. Yes, and uh, that's great to hear. Uh, do you, uh, uh, were you were expecting to have an in-air mission going on in the, the fourth quarter of 2021. Has this happened or when will it be uh, uh, happening? Yes, we actually had applied for a junior mission to, to the IEA, but unfortunately this has not taken place and uh, we sent a team last uh, this month actually, mm -hmm. I can say two weeks ago, we sent a team to the, to the IEA to have a meeting and draw up the program for us to to implement this mission. Most likely the mission will take place next year, 2022. Okay, okay, interesting. And uh, is there a timeline which Zambia's, uh, Zambia is working with regard to the, its nuclear power program? Do you have a timeline uh, for the program? As for now, uh, we do not have the timeline uh, until we do the self-assessment mm -hmm. when we know exactly what is there, what gaps are there. And uh, we identify and uh, <clears throat> identify all the gaps and then we shall know the, the, the time it will take us to fill up those gaps. Mm -hmm. Thereafter, we are definitely going to come up with the, the timeline. Yeah. As a country, we, we are going to follow the IEA milestone approach, mm -hmm. considering the 19 nuclear infrastructure elements. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> we, 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 once we do that, we shall follow all the elements up to the last one for us to have a smooth implementing uh, 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 way of, way of yeah. the program. Yes, that's great to hear. And uh, is there a target for uh, uh, when you, you expect uh, the power plant to be running or uh, even for that, you still need to, uh, to see the, the self-assessment first? 
First of all, we, we, we shall wait for the self-assessment and the near mission. Mm -hmm. Once uh, that is done, and uh, of course, the IA will do the recommendations. Yeah. Based on what they will recommend, we shall follow, uh, shall try by all means to follow their recommendations. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> once achieved that, or once we do the, we, we, we are satisfied with the recommendation, definitely we shall come up with the, the timeline to, timeline for the implementation of the nuclear power plant. Yes, indeed. And uh, correct me if I'm, not, if I'm wrong, but you have an agreement for the construction of a Center for Nuclear Science and Technology, CNST. Can you elaborate on the rationale for the CNST, its objectives, current status, and when it is expected to be completed? Yes, it's true that we have a contract with Rosatom overseas to construct the Center for Nuclear Science and Technology. Mm -hmm. The center basically will be like a training center. It will host, uh, it will host a, a 10 megawatt uh, research reactor, mm -hmm. a 1 million uh, Curie gamma irradiator facility, and the 30 mega electron volt cyclotron. The, <clears throat> the rationale for this center is that uh, we are fully aware that the, the research reactor takes time to be sustainable. And uh, uh, we want a, a situation whereby we have a facility which will sustain the entire center. And this facility will be the gamma irradiator. We hope that uh, if we have a gamma irradiator, one million Curie, we shall be in a position as a country to start producing single-use medical products like hypodermic needles, which are currently being imported in the country. And uh, that way, we shall also <clears throat> open up investment in this uh, sector. Apart from that, we, shall, we, we intend to use this facility for food, food preservation. Mm -hmm. You know, post harvest uh, losses are a great concern to the country. And uh, it is hoped that with this facility, uh, the post harvest uh, concern will, will be reduced. Yeah. At the same facility, we shall we intend to have a medical a medical center, which will be specialized in diagnosis and the treatment of illness using radioisotopes. Mm -hmm. The 30 electron megawatt <coughs> cyclotron will be used to produce uh, short-lived isotopes, which can be used for this purpose. And then uh, the 10 megawatt research reactor. Apart from producing radioisotopes for both the medical and industrial application, mm -hmm. we intend to use it as a training tool for personnel to come and run the nuclear power plant. Mm -hmm. Currently, we are sending all our staff abroad for training in nuclear engineering and the other related courses, but it is a, a huge cost <coughs> to, to us and the, it is the plan of the government that we localize training. And this 10 megawatt research reactor will be used as a, as a training facility for this purpose. It's awesome to hear that. And it is indeed uh, a step forward. And you could also train people from the region, from neighboring countries. They can come to Zambia and get training and uh, collaborate with you and you would be a hub a nuclear hub in the region. Uh, also talking about cooperation on the international front, what kind of cooperation would Zambia like to develop further and in which areas? Yeah, on the international front as a newcomer country, definitely would need cooperation with the international uh, uh, partners, mm -hmm. particularly in the area of human resource uh, development. You know, this is a long-term project and uh, which requires a lot of uh, uh, specialized uh, training and uh, experience. And currently we do not have these facilities to, to train our people to have this uh, ex experience. So <clears throat> with this cooperation, we hope that uh, our students or our people can be attached to their facilities to gain their much needed uh, practical experience in the operation and maintenance of nuclear facilities, please. Indeed, indeed. And uh, are you solely working with Russia or are you open to other countries also, for example, for the training? 
Yes, we are open to all the countries. You know, um, it will be beneficial for us to have skills from all parts of the world. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, we are accepting scholarships from China, Korea, the US, and Canada, and so on and so forth. We don't want to restrict ourselves to one uh, set of uh, technology. We want to broaden up uh, 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 the scope of uh, knowledge for in this in this technology. Yes, you're right. It's always good to have many different uh, options than just being only having one uh, and single option. Also, uh, talking about 2022, as we are getting closer to, uh, to it, what are the areas of uh, focus for nuclear power uh, program implementing units? So what are the main area of focus for next year? Yeah, yeah for, for next year, our fo main focus is that we want to conclude the self-assessment mm -hmm. uh, exercise. And also, we want to host the NIA mission, near mission for the IA. Mm -hmm. And the, the last, <clears throat> the other focus area will be, we want to have a bill, to, do, to, do, to have a bill or an act of parliament to establish a regulator, the Nuclear Safety and Radiation Protection Authority, mm -hmm. and as well as the establishing the, the Zambia Atomic Energy Agency, the coordinator of the entire nuclear program. So these two will be our major areas of focus come 2022. It's great to hear. And the, to finally, our last question would be, what do you enjoy most about your current role? Well, the, the, you know, nuclear program being a complex engineering uh, undertaking requires teamwork. And uh, I enjoy working with colleagues. And, uh, we have a good team of young and old people, experienced and the fresh graduates. And the, <clears throat> to me, this is a, an opportunity for me to transfer skills and knowledge to, to the, the, the upcoming scientists so that this program can go further uh, with or without my, my presence. <laughs> it's great to hear. And you are a great example for all Zambian nuclear experts. Thank you very much, Dr. Katebe, for taking the time to answer our question and to introduce to us the fascinating nuclear journey Zambia is undertaking. We notice with great satisfaction the interest African countries, including Zambia, are showing in nuclear power, and it could be the way forward for industrialization. Uh, thank you once again. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and thank you very much. And to all our viewers, feel free to leave your feedback and question in the comment box uh, below. And do subscribe to our channel if you would like to gain more insight from global nuclear leaders. So happy new year to everyone. May 2022 be the revival of nuclear power uh, worldwide. Thank you, everyone. Have a great uh, year ahead. <laughs>